I'm gonna share with you a list of apps that are gonna help you do a bunch of different things around your YouTube channel, and we're starting right now. Okay, so the very first thing that we are going to talk about, of course, because you're a content creator, you're making videos for YouTube, is video editing apps. Now, I know some of you are on iPhones and some of you are on Androids, but don't worry, I've got you covered for both. So, if you're on an iPhone, Video Leap is what you wanna be using. It's extremely easy to use. You can add multiple tracks so that you can make professional quality videos. You can adjust the sounds, add all kinds of amazing filters to it. It's super easy to use. If you're on an iPhone, you can try it for free. You're gonna love it. If you're on an Android device, however, you'll definitely want to use KineMaster until Video Leap comes out with their Android version, which should be coming out soon. Now, since you are a content creator, of course, it's also important for you to make sure that you are doing your social media, right? So for that, there's a cool little automation tool where you can schedule posts to Twitter and Facebook and things like that. It's an app called Buffer. And one thing that I really like about Buffer is in addition to the scheduling part, I almost got, I got a car coming up here. Can't do much of social media if you get ran over, right? Be careful out there. But anyway, Buffer makes it easy to schedule social media posts and you can also just add it to a queue. So if you wanna just dump a bunch of tweets in there, like let's say that you're eating, you're like, hey, I'm just gonna do a bunch of tweets, then you can just add it to a queue and tell it how often to post those tweets. It's pretty awesome. Okay, so you've got your video editing app so that you can make sure that you're cutting up your videos. You've got a way to distribute them pretty much on autopilot through an app called Buffer. Now, next thing on our list is Google Slides. Now I know what you're probably thinking. You're probably thinking to yourself, hey Nick, why would I wanna use Google Slides for something? I'm a YouTuber, I'm not putting together presentations. Well, as a content creator, it's important that you do put together like a media kit for yourself so that if you start working with sponsors or something like that, you can present yourself in a professional way. Plus, if you're making a video where you're doing like top tens or something like that, then one of the things that you can also do is you can use the slides as your one through 10 numbers. If you export them, you can make them look cool inside of Google Slides and then just export them out and use them in your videos. Next on the list is Todoist. Todoist is awesome because it's a project manager. It's basically like a to-do list, right? Because the name Todoist. But in addition to it being a project manager, you can also use it to organize your video ideas as well and just mark off the list as you complete the video ideas. Now, Todoist also has a desktop version, which is really cool because with the desktop version, if you are doing some things on a computer, some things on your phone, it just gives you that flexibility to sync everything up, which is pretty awesome. Bitly is the next one that's up on the list. And the reason that Bitly is awesome is because it allows you to track all of the links that you're sending off YouTube. So let's say, for example, that you are promoting something as an affiliate or that you have a sponsor that is having you promote specific things and having people click links. You can see on your end how many clicks you're actually sending to that affiliate offer, to your website, to your email list and all that. So you can start to get a general idea over time over how well certain topics convert over others and what causes people to click more than other things things when you share them in your videos. I like that fallback thing that I did before, so I'm gonna do it again. But the next thing on our list is if this, then that. Now the really cool thing about if this, then that is that it's automation. So you can set it up if you have channel memberships so that you can get weekly emails letting you know exactly how many people join your channel memberships. You can set it up so that you can welcome new channel members publicly on Twitter. You can also set it up to automatically share your videos and things like that. But if this, then that, or IFF, T or IFT, I don't know. All right, here, let's do this the easy way. It looks like it is IFTTT. -T -T. Regardless, it looks like this right here. But it's really cool because you get to set up a bunch of automations to where all of this stuff happens in the background after you set it up. All this stuff happens in the background with you without you having to like mess with anything, which is pretty awesome in my book. Next on the list is an app called Duet. The really cool thing about Duet is it lets you use your phone or your tablet as a second monitor if you are using a laptop or a computer for anything. So let's say that you happen to travel and you need a second monitor to live stream or anything like that. Duet allows you to use your iPad or your Android tablet or phone as a second monitor while you're on the go. For even more apps and tools for YouTubers, make sure that you click into this playlist right here, right now. And if you haven't yet, make sure you subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.